Right, are you ready for this one then? So I want y is on the left, x is on the right. So I can take out secant y as a factor. Remember, these are ridiculously hard. So that'd be x cubed plus 1. What's the secant y? We're going to divide through by secant y. dy. dx. With integration signs in front of it. Get those. Now, secant is 1 over cos y. So 1 over 1 over is cos. So I've got uh, y, cos y, dy is x cubed plus 1, dx. Right, so here's my issue. I now need to do integration by parts. Because if you look at it, I've got something that nicely reduces down. So this bit here gets integration by parts. So let's do that here a little bit. So u is y. So du by dy is 1. dv by dx is cos y. If I integrate cos, it's sine y. It's uv. So it's y sine y minus the integral of sine y dy. So it's y sine y. If I integrate minus sine, it goes to plus cos, cos y. And that there is integration by parts for the left-hand side. So it becomes, see if I can just rub that a little bit out. So that's my integration by parts. So the left-hand side is y sine y plus cos y. And the right-hand side is just a quarter x to the 4 plus x plus c. And it just wants a general solution. It doesn't want you to say anything random. So that's it. That's fine. That's fine as it is. I've got y's on the left, x is on the right. I can't quite get it as y equals because it's ridiculously hard to do. Uh, so that's that one done. I actually did that in two minutes. That's quite fast, isn't it? All right, so let's try this next one then. Wow, this is two minutes in. We're all doing well. Is this a big one? Right. So y is on the left, x is on the right. So I've got e to the 2y dy is x, x squared plus 3 to the power of half. Dx. I'm thinking that the right hand side is an integration by substitution, but it's messy. So maybe I'll just use, oh, shall we use, do you know what? I'm going to use integration by substitution on the right, on the left hand side, the uh, right hand side. So I'm going to use u equal, no, do it a different color here, so it stands out. Sorry, hang on. Oh, hello. There. So I'm going to use u equals x squared plus 3. So du dx is 2x. So du over 2x is dx. So this integral of x, x squared plus 3 to the half dx has become x u to the half, du over 2x, and the x is on cancel, and it's a half, u to the half, du. So if I integrate that, it's a half times by u to the add 1 to it, so that's 3 over 2, divided by 3 over 2. The 2 is on cancel, it's a third u, 3 over 2. So it's a third x squared plus 3 to the 3 over 2, just checking that. That's right, that's cool. So all that is the right hand side using integration by substitution. <laughs> what do you reckon? But it's just the methods, and if you practice the methods, it's all right. They're just hard methods, that's all. Uh, so if we integrate e to the 2y, it's a half.
half e to the 2y. If I integrate that bit on the right, it's a third x squared plus 3 to the power of 3 over 2 plus c. I want it y equals, oh, I've got an x is 0 and a y. Huh? So I've got y is 0, x is 1. So I've got a half e to the power 0, which is just a half. I put 1 in there, I've got a third. Now if I put 1 in, 1 squared is 1, add 3 is 4. Square root it is 2, cube it is 8. And I've got 8 over 3 plus c. Take over the 8 over 3, I've got, what have I got? I've got 3 over 6 minus 16 over 6, so minus 13 over 6 for C. So just a reminder, this one's my general solution. And then I've got this value now, so I can put it as a particular solution. So a half e to the 2y is a third x squared plus 3 to the power 3 over 2 minus 13 over 6. Now I want it as y equals, so if I times through by 2, I've got e to the 2y is 2 thirds x squared plus 3 to the 3 over 2 minus, now some people write it as 26 over 6, but it's 13 over 3. I need to take logs of both sides, are you still with me with this? So I've got to take logs of both sides, so it's 2y is ln of all of this. And then I just half it. It looks messy, but I've just followed the rules. There. And that's the same as the um, that's the same as the answer in the pack. So I must be doing it right. What do you reckon? What do you reckon with that one? We've got a general solution, now I've got a particular solution down the bottom here. Right then, I reckon we're done. That's two lessons going off in time. I don't know, I might, I might squeeze in recording a bit of lesson for you. Right, I'll see you later. Bye bye.